Archangel Gabriel's Daily Messages, May 26 to June 1, 2013. A great many enlightening human beings are accepting that surrender is a vital part of the process. But they are waiting to surrender until they know which direction they wish to go in because they fear making a mistake. Dear ones, the whole point of surrender is to move into your highest alignment with the assistance of all your guides and helpers in the easiest, most direct way. You cannot make a mistake. The beauty of the flow is that it is a self-correcting course. It only knows how to take you to your highest good and will sweep in effortlessly, regardless of which direction you are pointing, to take you there. Surrender is deciding to get out of your own way. Waiting to figure out how to get out of your own way to use a tool that helps you get out of your own way doesn't make much sense now, does it? Surrender. Take that grand leap into the unknown as a complete and awesome commitment to your greatest good and highest life expression then allow the magic and wisdom of the universe to take care of the rest. It is your ego self, the part that seeks to keep you small, that is on the continual lookout for what is wrong. It loves to stay on high alert and in troubleshooting mode, which keeps you spinning in energies that will only find more of what you do not want. It does a very good job of distracting you with this illusion, of perpetuating this cycle, because it realizes if you step out of this illusion, it will cease to have control. You are so much more evolved than this. This is why we urge you to do whatever helps you to stay in your highest alignment. When you are in your highest alignment, you know that nothing is ever wrong. It is from that vantage point that you can truly feel your divinity and the divine perfection all around you, and that, dear ones, is experiencing heaven on earth. Enjoyment is such a vital part of your life expression, yet many of you have replaced it with duty and responsibility. You have adopted a belief system that doing so is noble and somehow makes you a better person. You came into the body with your own unique preferences, with your special talents and interests that bring you joy, to assist you in navigating your path, to help you to stay in your highest alignment and help you discover your own unique life purpose. To reject joy on any level is to keep yourself away from what you have originally intended to experience this lifetime. Most human beings are not living the life of their dreams and it is for this very reason. Dear ones, what brings you happiness, what you are passionate about, is not frivolous. Far from it. It is a part of you that wishes to be explored, nurtured and celebrated. As you give yourself permission to do so and start to make your joy a vital part of your life expression, you will create new movement that will result in improvement in all areas of your life. Dear ones, we know many of you think you would like things to stay the same, but you are beings of change and expansion, just as the universe is forever changing and expanding. This is good news. You want love, you want health, you want peace on earth, you want joy, you want enlightenment. All of these aspects come from change and expansion, from forever evolving into higher and higher aspects of self. Change allows all of these wonderful parts of your life to move with the energies, to become more and more in line with who you are, as you continue to shift with your beloved planet. It is a dance, a dance of balance and beauty and love and you have the lead role in the ballet of creation that is your life expression. If you are experiencing crisis in your life, it is unlikely you will find an empowered way out of those energies while you are immersed in them. There is not the vantage point required from that place to make empowered choices. You cannot create change from the very energies that have created what is causing you discomfort. It simply cannot be done and attempting to do so will only result in you spinning your wheels and creating even greater discomfort. Dear ones, if you are in crisis, we urge you to stop what you are doing and immediately find a way of shifting into a higher alignment. You can do this by meditating, walking in nature, sitting in the sun, lying on the earth, surrendering, asking your guides, angels or ascended masters for assistance, praying or whatever other process has been known to help you find a feeling of calm connectedness. Then, from that much more supportive, higher vibrating place, look at the issue with the eyes of your inner master. It is from this more empowered, loving, calmer, 
space that you will always be able to navigate your way to a much more comfortable, aligned, supported place. You always have the ability to shift your energies back into your highest alignment. You must simply make the decision that is where you wish to be and then start making the choices that support it. That spark of divinity is always in you, waiting for you, to assist and guide you in all ways. What happens, quite understandably, is when humans find themselves in painful situations, they immediately seek to numb themselves to experience some sort of relief. Much like the ostrich with his head in the sand, it will give an illusion of improvement but when they come back to the truth of their situation they will find the scenery exactly the same. Numbing oneself is quite contrary to what the soul is always seeking to experience, which is greater expansion and awareness. It will only offer temporary relief at best, at worst, it will enable a human to stay in a disempowering situation for a very long time rather than seek true and lasting change. Common ways humans seek to numb themselves to the truth of their situations is to use drugs, alcohol, blaming others, denial, complaining, emotional detachment, and stuffing of emotions. All of these activities perpetuate the very energies they are trying to find relief from. When you feel discomfort, it is telling you that you are out of your highest alignment. It is a direct request from your soul, not to find a way of making staying out of alignment more comfortable, but to redirect back into your authenticity. Realigning will bring instant relief and will also allow decisions to be made that are much more in line with what your soul wishes to experience, being an empowered human being of light and a mindful creator of your life expression. Are you trying, or are you flowing? Archangel Gabriel Channeled by Shelley Young TrinityEsoterics.com